happy Monday. Are you happy it's Monday? Are you so happy, happy it's Monday? Always happy it's Monday. It's the Monday show. <laughs> you guys. Okay, let's talk about drama on the Monday. There are going to be people in our lives that we don't get along with. Whatever. <laughs> no matter what we do, we just like can't communicate with them. And it's just really hard to see eye to eye. And I was thinking about this because I've been listening to Brene Brown. I'm just like in love with her. No, I know. She's my crush. Oh my I've been gosh. listening to her book, Braving the Wilderness, and she brought up a really good topic about civility, like how you can be civil with people that you may not always agree with. And she had a couple of quotes that I wanted just to share with you guys on this Monday. Um, she said, when we are arguing BS, bullshits, we aren't interested in the truth as a starting point, which is really a great thing. Because mm, I feel true. like when you don't get along with somebody else and you already think you know what they stand for, it's really easy not to even hear them out. Mm -hmm. And so before you even get into conversation with them, you just already are making up in your head like the BS that you think you know about them. Mm -hmm. So when you're arguing with somebody, you can't have preconceived notions. So arguing BS, we aren't actually interested in their truth or mm -hmm. that truth. We have to hear them out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, something else she said is the amount of energy needed to refute the bull shit, I'm just gonna say it, <laughs> is an order of, of magnitude much bigger than the actual matter to produce it. I'm like, that's- Okay, wait, what? Okay, the amount of energy needed to refute bullshit is an order of, mag is an order of magnitude much bigger of the matter that it is to produce mm. it. So the starting point of the fight actually probably isn't going to escalate that largely if you know if you would just hear them out rather than just trying to fight with them. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just the way she was saying these things, I was like, oh, it's so true. It kind of is really deep, but just some good Monday thinking, you know? Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that she said that I really loved, she said, civility is claiming and caring for one's identity, needs, and beliefs without degrading someone else's in the process. Which I feel I like, like that. I love that. Because sometimes we have opinions and we have thoughts and we feel like other people need to see those and we need to see eye to eye on those, but sometimes we don't have to take away from them for them to see our side and we don't need to put others down in the process of learning and understanding them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. so true. That's Hard though, right? But we've all done it mm -hmm. where yes. it's like, you need to understand how I feel and, and it doesn't really help. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard not to take things personal sometimes because yeah. you want people to see where you're coming from. But when she said, it doesn't need to degrade someone else's in the process of believing and signing up for what you want, I think that's so true. Mm -hmm. And how would a different world or even social media would be if we had that attitude? So it's my challenge for you guys this week to come from a place of being civil and understanding others before you want to refute or get in a fight with them and trying to share your standpoint. So just be more empathetic and loving towards other human beings. And we'll Amen. peace yes. for all, you know, <laughs> on this Monday. Okay, we love you. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on the Wednesday show. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye.